Welcome to a special edition of Cat Vista Media. Today, we're sitting down with Damien, who's the marketing manager for NewsPower. How are you, Damien? How, how's, uh, how's things tracking? Yeah, good. Thank you, Daniel. So thanks for having me. That's okay. Um, today's episode, we, we, we want to understand about Mav Social. Mav Social is one of the companies we're working with. Um, they have come on board Cat Vista because um, we, we want to connect them to our investor network. So the idea behind today's conversation is you're one of their clients. So we want to know from your perspective, your thoughts on Mav Social. Um, so we'll we'll go through it all, but what what I would really understand and what what I w- really want to get into for the for the first part is about the 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 guys about the team. Um, can you tell us your thoughts? How how is it to work with with Chris and Dean? What's your your opinions? What's you know what's the feedback? What's it like from a customer's point of view to work with the Mav Social team? Uh, yeah, I think probably the first thing that uh, springs to mind is uh, working with the Mav Social team is. Uh, when we were on the lookout to find a platform uh, that could do what we needed to do, um, obviously we went out there and researched lots of companies and got different research, uh, got different uh, quotes and and opinions from everyone that was there. Um, we found by a lot of those uh, that we spoke to um, that they were very uh, set in their ways. This was how things worked and. Um, you know, you're getting it out of the box of, of how it was. Um, Chris reached out to me uh, in regards to uh, some chats that I was having with other people and I set up a meeting with him um, and I have very first impressions with him. He was um, super, um, like, listened to what we had and, and our issues and our problems. Uh, the Mav social platform at that time wasn't going to do exactly what we wanted to do. Uh, but he understood our concerns and um, and why we needed those things and uh, and was able to go and um, make those changes and a few a few adjustments for us so we, we were able to do what we wanted to do. So working with them and the team, they've been absolutely brilliant um, at the setup um, and then through throughout the whole process as well. I've spoken to uh, their developers a couple of times in regards to when an issue or a problem arises. Uh, every time they've been able to address it, fix it, or explain to me exactly what's, what the process is and what's going on for, for that particular reason. So uh, they've been really responsive to everything that we've asked for. Okay, amazing. Now, before we get into why you know Mav Social is easy for your business, why, why don't you explain about news power and and what it, you know what it means and what it does in the Australian, you know, ecosystem, um, to give us an idea on how that have Mav Mav's power, Mav Social um, fit into your your business. Yeah, so uh, News Power is the marketing group uh, for independent news agents, all based around around Australia. So we're the la- largest marketing group uh, out there for news agents. Um, we're not a franchise, so all of our stores are independently owned and operated. And we offer uh, marketing tools and assistance to these stores uh, to help them run their businesses on a daily basis. So um, we've got over 300 stores um, around Australia. So we run, uh, we'll look, help look after everything from large shopping centre stores in, in a lot of the major shopping centres around Australia, right down uh, to tiny little stores in the back of Burke, every corner of Australia. So we look after a, a large and a very big variety of news agents from, you know, one person that runs the entire store up to 20 or 30 staff members uh, across some of our bigger stores and stuff like that. So that's uh, what NewsPower is. Um, how did we end up uh, coming to NewsPower, uh, to Mav Social? I think was your next part of your question, was it? Yeah. Yeah. So we were faced with a, um, a the problem of the world becoming more digital. So NewsPower has always been known over the years for its catalogue distribution model. Uh, delivering millions of catalogues all around Australia uh, to help promotions for our stores. Um, as we know, the world uh, changing very quickly into that digital space. Uh, so when we uh, started to move down that road, our problem was, is as I mentioned before, all of our st- stores are ind- independently owned and operated. Uh, so they're not a franchise uh, and they all had their own individual social assets from Facebook pages to Instagram pages, Google uh, profiles, all of those sort of things. Um, and we had this problem of how do we help them advertise and promote their businesses uh, without having 
without having control of all of these things or mm. telling them they need to do what we tell them to do. So that was a real issue for us. Um, now, we had a few things out there from all of the different providers. So with Google, we could get on and do a little bit of posting across pages. Facebook had a few assets which were quite manual as well uh, through uh, some of their, their back-end um, tools and stuff like that. But everything was very limited uh, and there was a lot of repetitive work. So we needed to find a third-party provider out there which could tap into us uh, some of these assets that we needed. Uh, so we could automate this process and just make our life so much easier because uh, everything we're looking at just didn't work. So that's when the hunt went out to to find a, um, a third party provider uh, that could provide this for us. And and Mad Social was the one that we ended up selecting in the end. Yeah, yeah. So thinking about Mad Social, you've you've integrated into their, their system. What has it meant for your business? You know, how much time? How much? You know, uh, is is there a dollar figure that you can that you can put on it? Even an approximate figure? How much time? What does that look like? And how has it made your life easier? Uh, so, dollar figure is probably pretty hard to uh, to put that down to. But in regards to time, I reckon it would probably be about two days worth of work when we first started using the platform. Uh, when we did start using the platform to start with, we only had about 80, 80 social accounts all that we were looking after. And that's just purely because um, it was so, such a time consuming job for, mm. for what we were doing. Uh, now that it's become an, uh, a big part of the business, uh, we're now probably, I reckon it would, it would probably save four to five days worth of um, worth of actual work now that we're doing it because we can just automate everything so uh, so much more now and um, and mass scale a lot of these uh, postings things out there that we're doing. Yeah. Now, are the posts you're doing are they um, the same across the board or are they they different for each location? Uh, yeah, so we we have a few uh, variations, and this was one of the attractions to Mad, Mad Social, which worked really well, and I like the way it was set up. Um, again, mentioning our stores are independently owned and operated, so it's no blanket um, posting across everything. So yes, we do do the same posts across pages, uh, but Mad Social has this great um, feature in there called Teams, which we can set up lots of uh, flexible and complex. Um, uh, groups of people uh, that we use to then post across it. So a great example for us uh, is uh, lotteries all around Australia. So um, there's lots of different state government regulations who have uh, different rules and regulations of what we can post. Uh, and we have a couple of different organisations. So some are state-based and some are run by uh, private companies these days. So we can't just do one post across everything. Um, and every state has those different regulations. So using Mav Social, we can create all these different teams for those different regulations. We can virtually set up a post uh, which would go across all of them, but then we're able to just change the graphics and uh, and change some of those wordings and some of those responsible gambling uh, messages that we need to put out there to suit, suit each of those. So we may create five or six posts to go across 400 different accounts or something like that. So really brings the workload down of what we're able to do. Yes. So, um, yeah, so that's that's one of the areas. And then across all of those businesses as well, we have some people that sell magazines, other people that sell ink and toner where others don't. So we can we can set up all of those different teams and just have those, them all scheduled out through the week um, and be able to get across everyone to customize it enough for them, but at the same time reduce the workload quite considerably for us. Yeah, yes, yeah. so that's that's an interesting point that it's taken you know what would be four or five days worth of work down to a matter of what hours, um, and you're able to to you know get the your all of your stores locations you know the message out, schedule it over over a, a period. And as you scale your business, their platform can help scale, you know, can scale with you and, and help you scale. Um, and it makes your your work, your your workload a lot less, um, which is, yeah. which is, you know, an interesting task thinking, thinking about, um, you know, you've got 300 odd locations, each one may be different and you can, you know, customize each one, um, customize each post to suit each store um, all in one system. Yeah, and look, one of the um, the real good benefits that we've uh, 
just randomly discovered from from using the platform, which we didn't expect at all, is uh, some of our store owners are still traditional store owners who have been around for a very long time um, that say that, you know, um, no one in their town uses Facebook or no one uses social media or all of those things. So trying to convert them and, and encourage them to set up a, a social media account um, has just been a, a dead end uh, conversation. It was never going to happen. But now with us using Mav Social, we can tell them that we can do it all for them. We can do that posting. Yep. If they don't want to engage and, and do all of those things with their customers, we can still get that message out for them and do that. And they don't need to be involved at all. Um, and, and a lot of those stores are really loving that benefit where they're like, yep, if you can do it for me, I'm yep. happy to jump on board, but I don't want to do it. So that's been a real benefit yep. where we've been able to help those members that would didn't never wanted to get into that digital age, I guess. Yeah. Um, which is which is good because you're helping them scale at the same time or helping them increase their their customer base or user base um, at the same time without you know trying to to educate them on the wonders of social media. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, brilliant. So you know, from a uh, an outsider looking in, what are some of the 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 key points or benefits that you could say about you know Mav Social? Um, as a company and as a platform that stand that that make them different from the rest. Yeah, I think uh, working with Mav Social, um, as I mentioned before, they've they've always been um, very eager to listen and learn and understand about our business um, for the benefit of improving the platform. Um, from day one, when we have been on Mav Social, uh, they've always been developing and growing the platform. Uh, Number one, making uh, just small changes to right through to adding new features and everything like that. So that's been really good. Uh, I usually find a lot of the times with a lot of these big companies, uh, they can be very slow at change and updating and all of those sort of things where uh, Mab Social has been absolutely brilliant to sort of work with that. Um, one of the other areas where it's been really super beneficial for us is their uh, ads um, platform that, they, that they've got in there as well. So we're not just able to post to these pages as well. We're then able to, to then do mass advertising across all of these pages. So by downloading some simple template spreadsheets and, and that sort of stuff, we can run some complex ads across all of these accounts whenever, whenever we like. So again, to go and set and do that up manually is just hours and hours of work. We can just upload these, pull the information out of Mav Social, upload it into uh, Facebook, and it makes it into a very, very simple process. So that, again, is a really powerful feature and tool um, of the platform, which has been, again, able to help us move into that digital space and do advertising uh, for all these small businesses in an independent way. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. I won't take up too much more, too much of your time. Um, we'll leave it there. But thank you very much for jumping on. This has been absolutely valuable. Um, for anybody who is um, looking at Mav Social, both from a user perspective or an investment perspective, it, this gives you an insight into what a real life customer of Mav Social thinks about their platform and how it's helped their business. So, Damien, thank you very much. I um, I appreciate um, you jumping on and and spending some time with us. Um, I hope that your business grows um, to uh, as the same pace as you know Mav Social and um, that that you see more benefits out of you working with them. Yeah, thanks, Daniel, and I'm more than happy to share uh, the benefits uh, that it's been to us. Thank you. Okay, bye. Mm-hmm.